Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Si son nuevos, yo me llamo Stephanie. Gracias a todos for clicking on this video. Greatly appreciate it. No más quiero tomar este tiempo really quickly para felicitar a mi hermana for graduating today. Class of 2019. Oh my God, this is us right here. Okay, back to our regular schedule programming. So ahora vamos a estar haciendo el recap de la semana 5 de la Reina de Sur. So let's get on with this recap. Empezar vamos a hablar de la señora Mercedes. Miramos que she be selling these kids. She's a dirty, ugly, she ain't no damn lady. She's like a fucking monster. Fuck that bitch. Ahorita parte de todo esa that stuff that was happening to Sofia was obviamente cuando Sofia agarró la carta de crédito and like jammed it into that dirty ass man. I wish she should have jumped a little bit more and like really let him let out. El lupo vino, la salvó. Obviamente Sofía was uh, grateful que they, that he found her, ¿verdad? Lupo took it upon himself to shoot the dirty ass man in the nuts. Uh, thank you. Pero like I would have greatly would have appreciated if you would have shot también Mercedes or like killed her or like maybe like smacked her around a little like chop off her hand or her tongue like do something pero no me la dejó ir like se me hizo chistoso cuando dice no me puedo me hagan nada que soy una señora bitch wey oh, damn señora you like shit you are less than shit if there is such a thing that's what you are you know Pifanio and Lupo trying to find Sofia again and obviamente Teresa is trying to find Sofia before the kidnappers find her on the mezcla of that post uh, Teresa mira a Lupo, you know, driving past her, and it's like, I can seguirlo, you know, and all this stuff that he does, like, I'm sorry, girlfriend, I know he's good looking, but you need to stop thinking with your damn hormones, because, you know, you got your baby to look after, and you can't be letting those beautiful, like, eyes, like, blind you i get it i get it he's really good to look at but you need to get your priorities straight uh because obviamente like you just lost somebody what was that guy's name that got shot i don't remember his name but you were with somebody stop trying to get some at this point and go go find your daughter and we, we will get to that later in this recap so Teresa, you know, runs into him. Lupo's outside, outside um, sticking out the house de la señora Mercedes. Cuando Teresa, like, runs into him. Le da, like, some lame-ass story talking about, Oh, I'm gonna buy this house. Literally, you have a realtor story in this. And, and Teresa, really, you are going to believe this realtor story. Moving right along. Pues cuando se escapa Sofía de Mercedes, you know, she's like running down the subway trying to get back to her little hiding spot. She spots her daughter in the midst of all that and like starts trying to chase her. But all I never really got it clear as day si Sofía heard her and just decided to keep going or if she just didn't hear her porque there was some other stuff going around. I'm kind of going more of uh, she heard her and decided to ignore her, but I wasn't really clear with it. Let me know in the comment section below on that. Obviamente se le escapó a Teresa, unfortunately, but again, I get it. It's too early on. Now we're at week five. Todavía no puede pasar esto because la novela, I think, es no se va hasta acabar hasta like July or August. So I won't expect her to get like saved till like the end of June or beginning of July or literally until the ending. So vamos a dejar a Sofía Teresa, you know, alone for a little bit. We're gonna go ir acá con, con Epifanio y con Beba y con Crazy Ass Carmen. Uh, bueno, Beba ends up finding out que Epifanio todavía está casado. I don't know if, if yo pienso, did she ever know? I mean, she knew que estaba casado, right? But I'm assuming que no más pensó que they were divorced. I'm a little like iffy on the whole situation there. Kind of fucked up how she finds out though, porque like, tying in la casa de Epifanio and then like, at the same time, Carmen, where her crazy ass comes around. Y Carmen doesn't know que, que Epifanio is with Beba. You know? She's a fan of, of Beba and the network that she works with. I mean, just like blurts it out, que, oh, si, sí, bueno, yo voy a hacer la próxima 
dama, primera dama de los Estados Unidos de México. Whether she sees it, it, like, no nomás es, like, first lady, but she's like, voy a ser la primera dama. Like, she puts her head up high, like, mm, mm, mm. Nobody wants you as a first lady, lady. Go ahead and move on with Paloma and Rocio and what's going on with them. La pasada, Willy ayudó al nephew del güero, you know, escape. Pues él trae al, al nephew acá con Teresa en, en México. I don't remember his name. You know, obviamente, Rocio and Paloma uh, take a, a liking for him. Now, Paloma takes it upon herself to try to call dibs on this guy. And the whole time, yo estoy como, like, were you not using some, like, dramatic, abusive relationship? And, girlfriend, you pregnant. Um, you shouldn't be calling dibs on anybody. Leave this one for your sister. He's a good at looking at this guy. I don't care if she's into vampire type guys, but you know what, at this point... Lupo otra vez encontró a Sofía. Y pues la secuestra otra vez. <laughs> this girl can't catch a break. Como tiene a su new best friend, Simón, pues Simón, like, goes and follows her. With his little hoodie and gets on the truck. And I'm like, this little boy, he's so brave. Because if that was my friend that would be up in that thing, do you think my ass would be trying to get up on this back of this this truck holding on? No sé que le quede rápido van a estar viendo. Are they going to be on the highway? I mean, are they going to be, like, how long are they going to be driving? Yo no sé. ¿Tú crees que yo voy a aguantar? Like, being behind a damn truck? No, después, what's gonna happen? What's gonna be peor yo? Because I'm gonna end up, like, sleeping or falling. God knows where I'm gonna end up. They have to try to help you out. You know what? Yeah, oh, what? I'm dead now. Because you killed me. Because I tried to save you. But Simon, that's, that, that's a true friend right there. You want a friend like Simon. You don't want a friend like me. But Simon, that, that's your friend. In this episode, pues, Lupo va a la patata a la casa, donde estaba primeramente secuestrada Sofía. Va a ir a buscar a, al gato. ¿Me coge a mendigo gato? ¿Cotsi? ¿Totsi? 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 ¿Right? ¿Totsi? Y de ratito llega Batman. Y de ratito después de Batman, pues llega Teresa. Pues ya se da cuenta Lupo que Batman está basically transicionando a, a Epifanio, ¿right? Vamos a dejar a Lupo y Batman y Teresa. We're going to go over to Crazy Ass. Carmen, because she has lost her ever freaking mind. Ustedes están en el lado de, de Carmen, like, do you think she deserves to be the first lady? Because I don't. Me, if that was me, like, I don't think it, I, I'm telling you, I would have extorted him and got money. Pero no, no. She wants to be primera dama. Cuando no está yendo sus caprichos, right? Carmen takes it on her own to go public con que married to Epifanio. All honestly, yo de verdad pensé que Alejandro somehow iba a saber. He was gonna get word this exclusive was happening. Iba a llegar justito a tiempo before she actually got on air. Que él iba a hacer something, right, to stop this from happening. Obviamente that didn't happen. Alejandro lost his mind. El muchacho que entró cuando he like was breaking shit. I'm pretty sure that's the guy that he's sleeping with because I think he's gay, right? Daniel está ya en la casa de Beba trying to like make amends and Beba is just like, no, 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 no. He gets a call diciéndole que that this exclusive is happening and they're both looking at it. They're like, and Beba's just like, no, this is it. Yeah, not her. Like, I would've been like, it's gonna ha and take your damn flowers with you, bitch. So, go take them to your wife. I'm just like, what the hell did she, like, was that a pen? ¿Qué le estaba poniendo? It looked like a pen. It looked like you just, like, stained his shirt. Might, might have been a knife. I don't know. It looked like a pen to me. I don't know what it was. He fue y mató al padre porque, you know, he was encouraging Carmen to go and tell the truth. Fue una mujer que, la, que lo mató. Y yo pienso que possibility que es the granddaughter de Epifanio. Whatever her name is, I, I still don't. I, you know, y'all know that I'm not good with names. But Carmen fue la que lo encontró al padre. And it's like, padre, padre, pa try to, 
trying to shake this man with the big ass bullet hole through his damn head. No, Carmen, no. He, he is very much dead. There's a bullet hole. Bullet hole. We're gonna go back to Francesco and to Teresa. Not only do they kiss, oh, by the way, when they kissed, I really in, like that shot. She was on the wall, and then they kind of did like that real kind of fast, like pull away shot, and you got to see the scenery on it. And like they were just on the side. Oh, I thought that was such a beautiful shot. Oh, and also, side note, uh, se me parece que fue el episodio del miércoles I love the opening sequence cuando se miró uh, Teo y la señora Jarafe on the piano and Teo was playing uh, chopping on the piano I thought that was just beautiful also that go back to Francesco and Teresa you know Teresa's falling in love with Francesco which she shouldn't be she's gonna kick herself when she finds out that she has her baby. I'll be looking at his eyes, Teresa. Don't look in those beautiful, beautiful eyes. You need, you need to stop. So, obviamente, she looked in his eyes and they slept together. She was out all night. Cuando llega a pasar la casa, pues Ole, que es all like, ¿Qué está pasando contigo? You know, like, BFF stuff. Like, I'm just saying that Ole, right now, at this point, I wish was a girl. She could, he could have gone into, like, real BFF mode and been like, Girl, what's wrong with you? Hey, Mensa, te digo que no lo confío. Te digo me, like, I'm your best friend. And like, because she used to be smacked around a little bit. She used to not stop looking at those beautiful eyes. Pasando, mire quien te trajo a la casa. Like, que estas pensando? Like, hello, Teresa. Like, we are hiding out. Like, why are you having this guy drop you off? And obviamente, Teresa is all like, fall in love with him. Doesn't care. Is not thinking with all her senses. And all like, is on like, this isn't you. Who do you, like, what What the hell is wrong with you? Esto no es el momento to be trying to get you some. No, you don't got time to find a lover now. Buscando tu hija. And you over here having some, like, midnight rendezvous, getting you some action. Like, I get it, but no, you, you don't got time for that. You can go and let your freak flag fly with whoever, wherever you want to be. Pero, you know, you need your priorities straight. Ella le, le agarra el número de teléfono de la abuela, uh, del, del teléfono de Francesco cuando está, le estaba hablando. And she's so damn good with numbers, porque, like, all I don't remember were, like, the first three. Actually, that's too much. So, me había acordado que it was, like, a two. I don't even know que fue el number, but I would have been, like, it has a two. Y pues cuando tuve la oportunidad, cuando Batman la estaba cuidando, uh, porque Francesco was over there doing his, her mama, teléfono y le habla a la abuela. Luta, si sí es cierto que Teresa mató a papá, you know, y obviamente la abuela is que to her the truth because she doesn't like Teresa y le dice que sí, yeah, your mama killed your dad, you know, pero no, no me lo deja así, okay, because, you know, remember she he dice lo que pasó, like that he got thrown overboard, estaba like rotting away, he was horrible cuando lo encontraron, right? So, why are you telling this poor baby that? Like, that's so messed up. Like, you don't say that to kids. But, but no sé, ya para irse a otra parte de México, because now I have to kind of obtain her part of the deal. Con Epifanio, como they took her daughter back again, so she, instead of trying to keep looking for the daughter, you know, va a ser and go and infiltrate the other, the other candidate. I think so. I'm going to leave it with that. Todo lo que tengo por ustedes, espero que disfrutaron. Se me hace que esta fue la semana que tuve más como normal, ¿verdad? I think so. No se olvide darle un like a este video. Suscríbase a mi canal si todavía no lo han hecho. No olvide hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time when I post something new. Y hasta la próxima semana. Bye.